Hey, ADHD heads, welcome back to our podcast. In today's episode, we're going to talk about unlocking your inner organizer, even if you're living with ADHD. Let's explore 10 practical steps and profound insights to truly make organization a way of life. Let's begin. Number one, start small, think big. Breaking tasks into manageable parts is essential. Let's talk about picking a small area, like a desk or a corner of a room. By focusing on one space at a time, you're making gradual progress. Have you ever noticed how tiny changes can have big impacts? Take a moment to envision what your space could look like with incremental improvements. Number two, decluttering magic. Did you know that clutter impacts mental well-being? Let's discuss decluttering strategies tailored to those with ADHD. How can you create a routine that aligns with your unique mental processes? Consider taking five minutes a day to declutter a small area. It's not just about tidying up. It's about freeing up mental space. Number three, establish strong systems. Creating systems that resonate with your ADHD mind can be empowering. Think about visual cues, labels, or designated spaces. Have you ever tried color-coded folders or thematic boxes? These systems are more than tools. They're pathways to a more structured life. How might personalized systems simplify your daily decisions? Number four, daily habits and routines. We know consistency is crucial for ADHD minds. Let's explore how you can establish daily habits that stick. What if you set a reminder or create a fun organizing playlist? How might a habit tracking app help you maintain consistency? We all have our unique rhythms. Let's discover yours. Number five, utilize technology. Tech tools can be an ADHD person's best friend. Have you explored apps designed to assist with organization? Let's discuss the benefits and drawbacks of various tools. Which ones align with your ADHD strengths and weaknesses? From note-taking apps to virtual assistants, technology offers endless possibilities. Number six, build your team. Organization is often a shared effort. How can you communicate your goals with those around you? Consider creating a family chore chart or an accountability partnership with a friend. How might these connections contribute to your organization journey? Number seven, embrace your ADHD. Your ADHD brain is a treasure trove of creativity. How can you leverage your unique traits to innovate in organization? Perhaps your ability to see connections others miss helps you devise one-of-a-kind solutions. Let's delve into the connection between ADHD and creativity in organizing. Number eight, Celebrate progress. Recognizing progress fuels motivation. Have you considered creating a reward system? What about a visual progress tracker? Reflecting on small wins and treating yourself nurtures a positive organizing mindset. Number nine, mindful organization. Mindfulness and organization are interconnected. How does mindfulness impact your organizing process? Let's explore mindfulness techniques tailored to ADHD minds, turning mundane tasks into moments of peace. And finally, number 10, challenges and triumphs. Remember to share your personal stories about your struggles, challenges with other ADHD heads. But also, and even more importantly, share your stories about your wins, your strengths, and things you've done that has helped you overcome a previous struggle. What has been your most significant organizational struggle or victory, Learning from each other's experiences enriches our shared journey. We created a community for sharing and learning from each other. It's free, and you are welcome to join us. Simply subscribe to our free newsletter on our website. Remember, you're more than capable of becoming an organization master. You've got this inner organizer waiting to shine. Let's unlock it together, one step at a time. Thank you for tuning in to our Adult ADHD Podcast. For more resources and to get access to our community to help you on your journey, go to ADHDheads.com. We will see you in the next episode.